What is a Zestimate and how can I increase it? We're talking about that today, so let's get started. Hi, welcome back to our channel. My name is Michelle Babino and I'm with TeamBabino.com with Future Home Realty here in Tampa, Florida. If this is your first time visiting us, please consider hitting the subscribe button and hit that little notification bell down below. That way you're notified every time we post a new video, which is every week. Today we're gonna to discuss what is this estimate and how do I increase it? What is this estimate? I'm sure you have all heard of Zillow. Yes. The Zestimate Home Valuation is Zillow's estimated market value, computing using a proprietary formula. It is not an appraisal. It is a starting point in determining a home's value. The Zestimate is calculated from public and user-submitted data, taking into account special features, location, and market conditions. So a Zestimate is Zillow's term for an estimated market value, and I want to stress estimated. What's so crazy about Zestimates is that us as realtors, when we are working with buyers and taking them to look at homes, they will have been well versed on Zillow about that home's worth and what it has. And unfortunately, what happens a lot of the time for sellers is you've got a buyer who's already researched what the home's worth on Zillow and they don't want to purchase the home for what it's listed at, even though what it's listed at is most likely a high percentage more true to the value of the home than the Zestimate. So it is very important as a seller to go into your owner dashboard on Zillow and make the correct changes. Where it can help the seller is that if you have your home priced lower and for whatever reason the Zestimate is much higher than what you have it priced at, which is more accurate to market value, this will actually help you when you're marketing your home to say that you have it listed below the Zestimate. So let's just dive right in here on Zillow. When you get to Zillow.com, you're going to see that there's four tabs here, buy, rent, sell, Zestimate. Go ahead and click on the Zestimate and that'll bring you to a new window. Scroll down to the bottom. It's going to say your personal view, check out your owner dashboard. Go ahead and click on it's easy. This is where you're going to enter your home address. Once that opens up, scroll down until you see your Zestimate tools. Review your home facts review facts. Make sure that all of this information is correct. The home type, amount of bedrooms, bathrooms, square feet, uh, the year it was built. Now the square feet in Florida, it's going to be the uh, square feet heated. Scroll down to see room details and you will want to check off all of the items that apply to your home. Your floor covering, you, you will want to make sure that that's updated. This is where a lot of them are not updated because it cannot pull this information from the public records. So if you have hardwood floors, go ahead and put that in. If you have tile, change it to that. Your heating, your AC, your rooms. Make sure that you check off all the rooms that apply for the interior rooms. Uh, I know that on a listing I recently had, it did not have laundry room checked off because most of the homes in that neighborhood have the laundry in the garage. And then I had to go in and click laundry room because they did have an interior laundry. Sunroom is another big one here in Florida. Your home may have a sunroom and that, that may not reflect in the, from the public record. So go ahead and check that off if you have that. Again, all of these indoor features, the building amenities, architectural style, exterior, and outdoor amenities. Make sure you have the correct number of stories and make sure that your parking is correct as well. You have roof and you have view. Now the photo is probably going to be pulled from the last listing of that particular home. Go ahead and save the changes that any changes that you've made. It could take a couple hours to a couple of days to actually update on the system. I hope this information was extremely helpful to you. I hope that you will go into your owner dashboard and make any changes that are necessary. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us and we will see you next week. Have a great week.